My invention is called a cuddle buddy. And the basic idea is, so you have this stuffed animal and there's a blanket inside of it. So if you had a child in a trauma situation or a crisis situation, then often they'll need a comfort item. They'll need something they can hug. My invention is the Magnawail car. It, it runs off the Earth's core, which is made out of iron and nickel, which already puts out a magnetic charge. If we harness that power, we can use it to levitate, to drive our cars, which will lower our, our need for fossil fuels. My invention is a twist on the French press, and the, tr the French press is an easy way to make your coffee. But the main problem with the French press is that it's really hard to clean, as shown in these pictures. But my invention is, has a twist off bottom so that the ground just fall out into your trash can or your composter. Every year, forest fires started by campers cause a lot of damage. They pollute the air and contaminate streams, lakes, and rivers. Worst of all, fires kill humans, wild animals, and destroy our habitat. The state and federal government spend millions of dollars to fight these fires and to keep us safe. My invention is named the Fire Exterminator and can help us solve this problem and prevent forest fires. The Fire Exterminator is a heat-activated way to extinguish a fire if it gets outside the fire pit. If the fire spreads, my invention will immediately sense the heat and extinguish the fire. So first I made that and I tried to use it with this, but it wasn't sturdy enough. So then I needed to, it um, holds my skis. It holds the skis? Uh-huh. Why, why did you come up with this idea? Because I don't like holding my skis. <laughs> It's the learning pod. It's a capsule for homeless people, so it teaches them. So they can learn basic math and reading and even just languages, like English, if they need to. And then they can also have different communities um, to, with businesses. They can add their own job skills that they can learn, so then they can go to that company and say, I did this, this, and this, and I want to apply for a job here. I came up with this idea because there was like a lot of times where I went on trips with my dad and it was like really crowded like that one, that picture, and so I got, it was like really annoying so I decided to make this to help people find the parking spot better. And so it works, like I turn on the on off switch and then so let's say the car saw this light from a far away. So it comes over and then it pushes its wheels down on the spring down there and then so it will go out and people, other people will know that um, it's unavailable. This is Castle Conqueror. I made this with my friend but he couldn't be here. This is a card strategy game unlike no other. Like, um, it's similar to Dungeons and Dragons and Pokemon but it do doesn't just do mathematics it, um, or like a journey. It adds, it adds a, more of a physical board feel but still as the as the has the mathematics of the cards. Each player has eight dinghies and one pirate ship. The goal of the game is to sink the other person's pirate ship. So let's say if you rolled a one with with this little dinghy, you would draw a sand card. The sand cards are math questions, so a music game that helps you learn notes and I play the piano. It helps you learn the keys. It helps you learn how to read the notes. It's called the Pendry X by a raisin date tracker slash scanner. What does it do? Um its purpose is to lessen Lesson food spoiler and help people not eat expired food. Uh, I made a game. Uh, I did it last year too. So I went to the game that involved moving parts and it was different each time you played it. I like the idea of using pipes and I think this game uses a lot of strategy. 
So on your turn, well this is a two player game and on your turn each player at the start each player draws three cards. Like this. These these cards are the our destination cards you were trying to work towards on the board because the board split up into a grid. My name is Finn and the problem my invention solves is that there aren't enough native plants in the foothills because of wildfires um, overgrazing and people going off the trail and accidentally stepping on plants. And native plants are good because they feed local animals and they can also um, keep the ground together, the rocks and the soil keep together. And um, so it's a dog backpack called the K9T Plantinator. And when your dog walks or runs, depending on the dog, the seeds will come out amiss like this. And then there'll be seeds in the foothills because it would take too long if people had to plant them. It's a fly trap that looks and smells nice to humans. And so there's a honey and water mixture at the bottom that the flies are attracted to. And the heater at the bottom makes the smell stronger. And then there's honey on the inside edges of the jar that they that the flies get stuck to when they fly in. Protects people f wait. Protects people who are definitely allergic to bees. A safe bee uses colors blue and yellow and flower scent to attract the bees. There are miles of disposable diapers in landfills, so I decided to help solve that. A diaper usually has three layers, the outer polyethylene layer, the middle wood pulp layer, and the inner polypropylene layer. My idea uses the two bacteria, Pseudomonas fluorescens and Syngomonas, um, which eat the outer layer of a diaper. So the bacteria are dried before being coated inside of a paper bag. So just to dispose of a diaper, you would just put the dirty diaper in the bag, wet the bag, and put it in the trash. So then um, you wet the bag so that the dried bacteria can get activated and start eating the outside of the diaper. My invention is the Ultra Grip and if you ever had to move to another house or something you had to go move the refrigerator or a stove you can't really carry it or anything like that so you'd have to get a forklift in your house and you really really didn't want to use a forklift in your house and so I, bit, I built magnetic gloves so that your hands won't slip off when you carry it. Or if you like to use tools, you keep dropping it. This could you, you have it securely in your hand or if the tool is cold. And that's about it. It picks up dog poop in your yard. After school, my mom makes me go outside and pick up my dog's poop. So I just thought, why couldn't something pick it up for me? Um, it has, these are the sensors. It senses that poop by stink. Hi, my name is Kelly Goulet and my invention is the dry dog. My invention is purpose is to keep my dog dry in the rain. So I, I, my, I solved my problem by taking an umbrella and a dog backpack and combining them and it keeps my dog dry in the rain now. Okay, so well a drone would carry the tornado catcher by this hook and then drop it onto a tornado. And then there are springs in here, so when it drops, it won't break. Then this motor generates energy from the tornado's wind power. So the disks will spin in the opposite direction of the tornado. So the tornado's wind power will decrease, and eventually the tornado will disappear. Well, my invention is um, a remote-controlled refrigerator to help people with um, disabilities or injuries, or if they're just old, you know? If they're just old and need assistance getting their fridge, it um, it would also. It, I also think it would really help in restaurants for dessert. So the top could be like keeping warm dessert still hot, and the bottom cold dessert well still cold. So you could, um, so you could get it at the beginning of a meal, so you don't have to wait to get talk to your waiter to get the dessert.